Welcome to the Scholars Learning Classes. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us. Now we will be starting your other chapter from this video onwards, which is chapter number 10 that is respiration in organisms. So let us understand first what is respiration. Right. Now it is the process of taking in oxygen using it for release of energy by oxidation of food and eliminating the waste products such as carbon dioxide and water. See, when you take in the oxygen, you require oxygen in order to uh, break down your food and uh, get the energy out of the food you eat. Right? Now, there are two main processes of respiration. The respiration is divided into two processes, that is external respiration which is known as breathing whereas internal respiration which is known as cellular respiration let's understand uh, about the external and internal respiration external respiration What does this mean? It means taking in air rich in oxygen that is when you inhale and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide that is when you exhale you intake you intake the oxygen when you exhale you give when you breathe out you breathe out the carbon dioxide now this is known as the external respiration then we will talk about the internal respiration or also known as cellular respiration see your body is made up of small microscopic unit that is cell it is the smallest unit in your body cell the group of cell forms tissue the tissues form muscles all these things so your body is made up of cells now your cells require energy in order to get the energy from the food you eat you require the oxygen so that your Oxygen breaks down the food to release energy and this energy is transferred to the cells. When you using oxygen to break down food to release energy Internal respiration occurs in the where does it occur? It occurs in the body cells.
Now cellular respiration takes place in the cells of the body. Now in the cells, the food that is glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide and water using oxygen. When breakdown of uh, you know glucose occurs with the use of the oxygen it is called the aerobic respiration when it is uh, uh, glucose or food is break broken down without the use of the oxygen it is known as the anaerobic respiration we know about the aerobic activities anaerobic activities how we classify that uh, it is an aerobic or anaerobic See, whenever you use the oxygen to exercise, the, in that case it is known as your aerobic activities. Now, when you exercise in the absence of the oxygen or at the night you do the exercise, you go to gym or you do the exercise, that is known as your anaerobic activities just because you are not using the oxygen into it. So similarly we divide the respiration again in two parts, that is aerobic respiration which is in the presence of oxygen and the anaerobic respirations which is without the oxygen now aerobic respiration see your aerobic respiration means glucose or your food is converted into carbon dioxide plus water plus energy you get the energy in the presence of oxygen in the anaerobic activity or anaerobic respiration you break down the glucose into energy without the presence of the oxygen so glucose without the use of oxygen is converted into alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy Right. So our muscle cells can also respire anaerobically but only for a short period of time when there is temporary deficiency of oxygen. So during heavy exercises, fast running, cycling, walking or for many hours of heavy weight lifting, the demand for energy is high but the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited. Then in that case anaerobic respiration takes place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of the energy now in that, in that case what happens your glucose that is present in your muscles without oxygen is converted into lactic acid plus energy This is during the exercise, some muscles may respire anaerobically. This was about the respiration, a brief introduction about the respiration and the types of air respiration. I hope you have understood this. If you have any doubt, any questions regarding the respiration, you can ask me and you can write me in the comment box and download this college learning app.